beautiful reefers. I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video is on one of the recent purchases that I did from Worldwide Coral, the uh, Mushroom Yuma. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about it and then I'm going to show you a comparison of how can you differentiate the species from a Ricorda fl uh, Florida to a Yuma and where they come from. So stay put and here we go. Okay and here we are focused at the actual coral. Now uh, this is the research, I mean this is basic uh, research, not complicated stuff and all that. But this is what I found out, of course, um, a Yuma mushroom uh, is a soft coral, also known as, you know, softies. So when you're talking about like soft corals, you're going to hear to some, uh, some people will say soft corals. And others will say, you know, well I have in my tank uh, softies. And it's the same thing, it's a uh, soft coral. Uh, but this uh, specifically is a mushroom coral, like the Ricorias, or other uh, regular Rhodactis types of uh, mushrooms. Now, there are two types. You have the Ricordia florida, which are from the Caribbean, and then you have the Ricordia or mushroom yuma, which are from the Pacific waters, which is this one that you're seeing as I speak. Now, the mushroom yuma or Ricordia yuma uh, tend to have tentacles around the mouth and the Ricordia florida does not. So if you were to uh, do a close-up shot or a close-up observation and you were to put like let's say a, a Ricordia florida and a mushroom or shall we call it Rick, uh, Ricordia yuma, you're going to notice that in, in the mouth on the uh, yumas it is surrounded by tentacles, yet the Ricorda Florida uh, doesn't have that. So that's where you have the uh, difference that you can, I mean right off the bat, that you can tell. Uh, be before I, I end the video, I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to put them to both so you can more or less see what I'm talking about. Now, they are known, uh, you know, the, the mushroom Yuma, they're uh, known to come in a variety of colors red, pink, blue, purple. This one uh, happens to be like an like a orange color. Now, humans are more sensitive to water quality versus Ricordia florida. So, what you have to do is you have to maintain your water parameters in check. Uh, not have like, you know, high nitrates or phosphates because that can actually impede the uh, growth of the humus. Now, this is what I found out when it comes into lighting. Uh, lighting, well, it should be low to moderate light in which you can place them on the lower quadrant of your reef or also in a shaded area. Now, when I started to do the research on this coral, I looked at, at different pictures, I looked at different videos, and I have seen some that they might place them like, let's say, from half of the tank lower, always on the lower quadrant. I have yet to see a Yuma that is w way up there. They're usually like I just mentioned uh, briefly, uh, they're either on a shaded area or close to the uh, substrate, like I have it uh, right here. Now, also when it comes to water flow, they require low to moderate flow, uh, not being bombarded like for SPS or for sticks, for aquapora. You don't need to uh, have that. They uh, do fantastic on low to moderate flow water current. And then another thing uh, when it came to feeding. When it comes to feeding, mushroom corals receive the majority of their nutritional requirements through the process of photosynthesis, uh, which simply means uh, their lighting creates symbiotic algae called suicentelli in the body of the coral, which provides its nutrition. One final thing that I thought I mentioned when it comes to care level, this coral, uh, it's suitable for beginners all the way up to advanced hobbyists. You wouldn't have any problem. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, the camera. I'm going to move it a little bit to the side so you guys can get an idea of what I was talking about when it comes to the mouth. I know you, you might not be able, you know, it might not do justice uh, because, you know, I really don't have a telephoto lens and there's so much closer that I can get to the actual corals, but if you look on the left, that's the Ricordia Florida. 
and you see that green spot in, in the middle, that's the, the mouth of the Recordia Florida. Now, if, if you were able to look closely, you're going to see that on the actual mouth, there's no uh, tentacles. It's just the mouth protruding on the center of the actual coral. But then when you look at the humus, although this one is fairly small, uh, and you look very closely, you're going to see that the, the mouth, like versus the uh, Florida Recordia, also has those, those little tentacles. So that's how you, how you can tell one from the other. And these uh, mushrooms are quite expensive, to be honest with you. This one, uh, fully grown, is like, a, I would say, the size of a silver dollar, a little bigger than a quarter. And they actually run for, I'd say, close to $100. Now, this one, I, I got it for $60 because it's a small frag, a little baby. But like I've mentioned on previous videos that I like to buy all of my corals, invertebrates and all that small uh, because it's, a, it's actually a twofold uh, benefit. Number one, if you're really in deep into the hobby, you actually are able to see them grow. And then two, when it comes to uh, money, uh, if, if you get frags that are smaller, it's going to cost you much less than you get a, a colony. So like I mentioned, on this Yuma, uh, I, I saw him there. Per head, fully grown, it's, it's uh, well, around $100. Now this one, they, they had little, even smaller, pin size, uh, little babies, and either that or this one, which was the biggest of the, of the little babies, it ran for 60 bucks. So this definitely, this, these Yuma, as I mentioned before, they're from the Pacific and they are a high-end mushroom. Uh, so that's basically what I wanted to talk about. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video and you found it fun and educational. If you did, hit the like button, the thumbs up, and then subscribe to my channel. Right next to it to the subscription uh, button, there's a little bell. That's the notification bell. So once you hit that, you'll be notified that every time I upload a video, you're the first ones to be notified that uh, Eddie's Reef Aquaria actually uploaded one. So like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you for watching, and coming up, it's Father's Day, so all of you out there that are fathers, I wish you a very happy, happy Father's Day, united with all of your kids and your family. I, too, am a dad, a 30-year-old boy and a 27-year-old boy. So until next time, bye-bye.